I'm here at Papa World Headquarters in Pittsburgh reviewing Dragon, which in addition to having some awesome artwork, has one of the best, most memorable sounds in all of pinball. The Dragon. Dragon is from Interflip, released in 1977. A pinball machine that definitely has more style than substance. But the style is very memorable. If you're playing the classic game room drinking game at home, drink every time you hear the dragon. Dragon has a really interesting gimmick. The five heads of the dragon make the dragon sound when you knock them down. But the more time that you actually spend playing dragon, the more you realize you don't actually want to shoot the dragon heads. If you're going for a high score, you shoot for the bumpers, which give you far more points. If you'd like to just annoy everybody near you, you shoot the dragon heads for the dragon sound over and over and over again. But what's really going on here? Well, like many pinball machines, Dragon tells a story. A story of adventure. The hero of Dragon is this guy, whose name is Stuart the Five-Headed Dragon Slayer. And his mission is slaying the five-headed dragon before it eats the pretty lady on the ground whose name is also Stuart. It's a bizarre custom on their planet, coincidentally named Stuart. The five heads of the dragon have names. They are Stuart, 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 and Crazy Willie, because he's f***ing crazy. Now you know why you're playing the game, but how do you play the game? Knocking over the dragon heads lights up the little lights on the sides of the playing field. That gives you more points when you roll over them. But that all still pales in comparison to lighting up the pop bumpers on top of the playing field and hitting them over and over again. So the machine makes very little sense because the only reason you would play dragon is to hear the dragon noise. All five dragon heads! But what you want to do is avoid shooting the dragons because then you run a great risk of losing the ball and it's far safer and you score more points by hitting the bumpers. You know what never gets old? That. Dragon is not bad. It's actually really challenging because it's extremely fast and easy to lose a ball. Also, you've got those suicide things on the bottom left and right of the playing field that drain the ball almost immediately when you get it over there. So what we've really got here is a fairly straightforward, cool machine with an awesome, memorable sound. But I do like the artwork, and it should be noted that the side of the table does have a completely naked woman being eaten by a dragon who uh, does kind of resemble Chitara from the Thundercats, and also she's being pulled into a black hole, so you really can't go wrong with this. So, just in case you forgot, here, here's the refresher. Save Stuart from Stuart, 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 and Crazy F***ing Willy to save the naked girl who kind of looks like Chitara from being eaten by a black hole in space. Today's classic game room is sponsored by the number five. Five, as in the five heads of the dragon, which I've just chopped off and thrown into the waste disposal bin. If you see dragon, you must play dragon because you know you want to hear that dragon sound in person. This review hardly does it justice. It's glorious when echoing throughout the arcade. While the gameplay in Dragon is fairly mediocre, it does have some nice artwork and the playing field has like a plastic covering that protects the artwork. So it looks really good more than 30 years later. But what this game will be remembered for the most is the Dragon sound. Bumper. Meow. Bumper.